Oh boy. My God. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Bro. Oh God. Hit it! That movie was a big old piece of trash. Oh my God. Let me tell you, that literally is the first Marvel movie to ever make me tired. Like I felt drained and exhausted after leaving. Where do I start? There's a mid post credit scene, okay? They introduce a new part of the MCU, so to speak, I guess you could say. What's interesting is that in the post credit scene, they use a CGI character that has been done before practically, and the practical was better. Now, um, this movie, I do not believe was shot badly. I don't believe it was acted badly. Okay? And it didn't look bad. It was just boring. That's its sin. It's boring. You don't care. You don't care about none of the characters. You don't care about none of the stakes. You don't care about nothing that's happening. You're just looking out the clock. You're running out the shot clock. You're just running out the timer. You don't care. Um, I legitimately did laugh. I would say around six to eight times. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad, I, I think. Um... All at Kamala and her family. Kamala, uh, Kamala's f and her family were kind of funny from time to time throughout. The villain sucked. Um, the villain, there is no fear. You know, you know, you suspend disbelief and all that. You put yourself in there. Hella, Hella scares the piss out of me. This, this character does none of that whatsoever. Um, uh, it's basically, the movie is basically all about the, you know, all their powers being intertwined. Basically, I think because, and you see it in the trailer, like the chick, you know, she uses something to a pair. And, uh, that causes them all to be connected, I believe. Uh, entangled. They kept using entangled in there. <laughs> Thought that was funny. I was like, oh, they're in an entanglement. That's funny. Um, uh, the majority of the special effects I thought looked okay. Um, you know, okay to good, but there were definite CW moments. Definite CW moments. You will know what they are when you see them. Now, there are two parts in this movie that are... Uh, jockeying for the, uh, for, for the stupidest part of the movie. One of them, you will know, you will definitely know when you see it. Guaranteed. And one of the other ones, the other scene the part of the movie involves a mode of transportation if you will to get many people from point a to point b and i was just sitting there like i was like oh this is so stupid now the director did say it was a goofy movie so oh gosh she was right so i mean you know um I was just bored to hell. It did not work for me. Uh, I never need to see it again. 
and you know I always do this comparison. If I was single again, and um, I'm dating one of the baddest chicks on the planet, if she wants to see it, I'm still not watching it, okay? I actually think that I enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, more than this. Just a smidge. I know. I know. So it is what it is. You know. Um, you know, I, I just I just don't know what to say. You know, there are other, you know, and like I told you before going into the movie, uh, I like Monica Rambo and I like um, Kamala Khan, and I still do. Captain Marvel, she was okay in this. She was okay in this. She was. I'm not, you know, you know, you know, I don't didn't like the Captain Marvel movie, and I still don't like it. But Brie was okay in this. Like I'm, you know, listen, the true meaning of hater is someone who's jealous, hates, and just hates just because they aren't you. They can't be you. You know all that. I have no problem with Brie. I know a lot of people do, and uh, I I can give passes for people saying stupid stuff and getting themselves in trouble with fans, you know? <laughs> I can do that. I just went to the movie and was just like, you know, I'm going to check it out. And I always tell you, I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion, okay? if uh, Hey, I went to see Little Mermaid. As much as everybody was just like, what in that are you doing? I was just like, eh. What did I give it? A three out of five? The singing was good. Special effects were good for the most part. You know, um, it helps that the actress didn't say anything to piss the fans off beforehand. So, um, I think I gave it a three. That's above average entertainment, even though they switched things that should have never been switched. Um, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. Um... Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought about this movie. I don't think I missed anything. Um, some people asked me to actually do a um, spoiler review. But I usually only do spoiler reviews. Mostly for movies that I really love. And really want to talk about these different secrets and rumors and reveals throughout the movies. Or something that I just seethingly hate. But I neither with this. It just is just, um, you know, what can destroy relationships is what has made me not like this movie. It's just boredom. You know, sometimes people will get out of relationships. It's just, you know, they just, you know, they're a good person. I just, you know, I, you know, it just, it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't for me. It just, you know, it did it, yeah, it just bored the hell out of me. Well, I don't know, want to tell you that the person bored you or that they were bored in a relationship. You know, that's what I'm telling you. Like, it's, you know, there were certain good things about it. It just was boring. And that's the worst thing that you can do is bore someone when they're coming for entertainment. That's the worst thing you can do. I don't know when boredom is ever good. I don't think boredom is ever good. I was very bored. I feel tired. I feel exhausted. But I have to do a live stream now with the drinker and crew. So I'll be joining that. So after you watch this, you can go over there and you can watch me talk to them. <sighs> I think that's it. Disney, change up your game plan. Now, 10 million subscribers. Woo!